Hello once again, this is Brother Teacher. There's a uh, young man on YouTube who has a channel, KFG Kung Fu Genius. His name is Alex Richter. I have a great deal of respect for Alex uh, and his studies, uh, both in Wing Chun and the um, history of Bruce Lee. Uh, he's interviewed quite a few people uh, who were in the know, as it were, related to the uh, legacy of Bruce Lee and his uh, his life history and uh, John Little was one of those individuals but uh, fast forwarding into my uh, my real uh, topic here uh, Alex uh, has a video that's coming up uh, about uh, did Bruce Lee give up on Wing Chun and so I wanted to take this time after I saw that I haven't seen the video yet because it hasn't aired as of yet but uh, I wanted to say this uh, and give my uh, perspective as far as uh, his Wing Chun was concerned. Uh, it's been said that uh, Bruce Lee never completed the system of Wing Chun under Yip Man or anyone else for that matter. And I understand that. But still, that does not change the genius of Bruce Lee. Bruce Lee took what he said what was useful and he used it for himself now this is where the rubber meets the road we are all individuals we must learn to get away from bondage of any sort okay and let what is in us speak another man cannot give me something in other words and say well this is mine I'm going to give it to you in terms of knowledge and I want you to do it exactly like I do it or it's not what I did now if peradventure I did it exactly how he did or how she did to keep that history of that particular art or system alive that's understood that goes without saying I'm keeping your system in or your art alive for my own reasons or as paying homage to you in the system. I get it. Nothing wrong with that. If you run a particular kata or form in a system that you're studying, goji rule, uh, ishin rule, uh, chito rule, whatever rule you're studying or art you're studying, it should look the same everywhere it's executed across the planet if those schools are across the planet in your state, in your country, in the world. Okay, so if you run uh, Hian Shodan or Basadai, whatever the form might be under a particular school or rule, it should be the same way the form was intended to be run. However, if you are of the uh, creative type and you're not just simply following that particular system or style, that should be accepted as well because you are an individual. No one controls us but us. So don't take this out of context because I speak pretty explicitly and concisely. Okay, now I did just say if you're keeping that system alive and if you're representing that system, if it's Shotokan, if it's Goju Ru, if it's Wado Ru, if it's whatever if you're keeping that system alive then you're supposed to do it the same way the system's founder intended for it to be that's it and that's all now if you are an individual who has broadened your knowledge and you're studying other systems and you incorporate aspects of other systems into what you do that's another thing and it's not the same as just purely traditional so the fact that Bruce Lee didn't finish Wing Chun, that's something he wanted to do. It doesn't take away from what he accomplished. He is still world renowned for his accomplishments. And this is what some people who are traditionalists don't want to grasp hold of. He was an individual. This is the path that he chose. And he's not the only one, but he's the one in question. He's the one in the spotlight most of the time. And he's the one who's still been talked about for 50 years since he's passed. So he's a controversial individual. And not by his own choice. 
that's a lot of people in different martial arts communities talking about he wasn't all that and you know he didn't learn this and he didn't complete this and that how do you know he's supposed to complete it at all now I'm getting to the fact that this video is supposed to come out later on today I think or tomorrow did Bruce Lee give up on Wing Chun I'm gonna say did he throw it away no he did not I don't know the whole Wing Chun system and I've studied some Wing Chun however I have the foundation that's the most important thing the four corner theory immovable elbow Chi Sao sticking hands Don Chi and so on and so forth the straight line the triangle and so forth there are some things that I have modified guess what to fit me the individual I am not Ip Chun and I am not Yip Man I am brother teacher this is my life what I do is for me and what I teach and share with my students I allow them their own individuality you know why because they are not me I don't expect them to do everything the way I do it because they can't we're different individuals understand comprehend this I give them a foundation something that helps them as an individual I know if I have 10 15 20 students in class we are all different no one is going to run a form the same exact way because of their body construct their height their weight so on and so forth some people have physical maladies or issues they can't do some things the same way or the way the person next to them does them we must understand this we must function within our own parameters of our own abilities and lack thereof that's the way it goes that's the way it is but let me share this with you also and I did a video many years ago on this subject if a man wanted to study Taekwondo and he goes to a Taekwondo school or he wants to put his child in Taekwondo school and the child can't kick high do you say well I'm gonna kick you out since you can't kick high you shouldn't not as a teacher you have to learn to adapt to that person's ability or lack thereof if a person wants to study karate shuriru or whatever Okinawan Japanese it doesn't matter and you say well I can't punch like that because my arm had surgery done on it my right arm and so forth do you kick them out of class and say I'm gonna deny you as a student because you can't function like everybody else in the class you get my point what I'm saying don't you it's an individual undertaking and you have to take it as it comes as it relates to your students or potential students you have a student that's blind in one eye and I've had that do you say I can't teach you because you're blind in one eye are you serious is that how sensei is supposed to be is that how shifu or sabam is supposed to be no this is humanity i'm sorry about that brief pause things happen but this message has to get out we're individuals and we all need something out of life and a lot of us who have the ability to give those things to people that they need we should irrespective of their physical conditioning those are the cornerstones if you will and those are the traits of a true instructor a true master I'll take you as you are you follow so if Bruce Lee at some point in time throughout his development and coming up he only learned Wing Chun up to some point guess what he didn't throw it away he used it case in point if you watch the movie he did before he died in 73 enter the dragon that was his baby he was in the best physical condition than he ever was throughout his whole martial arts career in enter the dragon Warner Brothers and Golden Harvest I think it was Oriental or Hong Kong film maker Raymond Chow and then you had Warner Brothers American and Asian movie put together he gave that everything that he had understand this when he fought God rest his soul Bob Wall whose name in the movie was O'Hara outside on the training or battlefield if you will he used Wing Chun back fist did you see him trap him that's Wing Chun did you see the tunnel scene where Bruce Lee had the fight in the tunnel he came to the elevator did you see him trapping Chi Sao sticky hands did you see him trapping and striking Linsil Daidor did you see that 
That's Wing Chun. So no, he didn't throw it away. If you watch some of his other movies, you will see traits of Wing Chun. So that was just one of many things that he had in his toolbox. And I believe that it was the foundation of his whole system of Jeet Kune Do. And even John Fan. Wing Chun. So no, he didn't throw it away. It complemented everything that he had learned. That's it. And that's all. So I'm going to leave on that note. If you have something that you would like to comment on as it relates to this particular video and subject matter, please do in the comment section below. And again, if there's something that you want me to talk about as it relates to martial arts, as it relates to your health and your wellness, as it relates to your relationships, as it relates to government and what my viewpoint is, not opinion, but what my viewpoint is on the Russian attack on the Ukraine and so forth, please do so in the comment section below. But I would like you to do this too. If I'm on a particular topic in a video, please try to stay true to just that topic and not ask me too many questions on other subjects that I've talked about in time past. Or just send me a message and say, would you talk about this? And I'll do my very best, my utmost to do that. Okay? I appreciate it. Have a great day.